Uh, this is uh, for when I won the Calgary Stampede's uh, Outstanding Outrider Award. It's actually the first one they give out uh, ever. And uh, this year, Calgary Stampede won their rec try to recognize Outriders more. And they developed this award. It's basically based on the point system. So, I mean, if your guy places high in the app, like in the day monies for that day, get the same amount of points type deals, kind of like the same around here. And uh, they also take into account the extra curricular, like do the autograph signings and pancake breakfast. And I, I actually ended up going to a lot of them because we had a, we were pretty short of outriders, and it just kind of worked out that way. And I put on a, a auction sale for Dustin Doors too, which we actually ended up raising about twenty-three thousand dollars, which is pretty wicked for him. And. Uh, yeah, so at the end of the days, I guess I got pretty lucky and I go down to the history books as the guy who won the, the first uh, Outstanding Outrider Award. It's pretty cool. And the other one is uh, when I won the dash behind Chad Harden. It's a bronze. Pretty big, pretty heavy, pretty cool. It's the one that everybody wants to get when they're out riding. So all I have left is just to get that, uh, that aggregate buckle from Calgary Stampede. But. Maybe I won't, maybe I will, but at least I got that big thing. It's pretty cool. Hopefully one day I'll be able to get the bronze with the chuck wagon on it, though. <laughs> so how many rides were you getting per day at Calgary? Uh, eight the first day, and then nine the rest, the, the other six. So it's eight, the, yeah, eight the first four. Nine the rest of six. Yeah. Do you have any eventful rides? I had a few. Uh, about the third day, I was riding for Shane Carter. The horn went and I was throwing off peg, so uh, you usually go up pretty hard when you're on off peg. And last time I rode the horse, he stopped on me, so I got him rumbling pretty good there. And I went to mount and he picked up a few more gears. And when I hit the saddle and looked up, Brian Mann, who was holding leaders for Shane, uh, was coming around with this big horse named Foddy and he just steamrolled me. <laughs> I was, on, I was on, the, on the ground with my horse and uh, about as quick as you could blink an eye. And I managed to hold on to my horse and get up and make my barrels and just came late. Uh, and then I had about another situation, I was throwing a barrel peg, yeah, barrel peg for Jason Glass about the third last night, and uh, the horn went, and I threw my peg, ran up to the top barrel, mounted, and I just got on my horse and got set, and Chad Cosgrave, he was riding barrel two, he, uh, his horse got a head of steam on him, and he came around the top barrel, and, and uh, hit me just right at the top of one. Knocked me to the ground again. <laughs> me and my horse landed on top of me, and I got hit a lot harder that time, though. But I still managed to hold on to my horse and made the bottom barrel and just came late again. So now you're done with Calgary, you're back to putting your goal set on driving? Yeah, now I gotta make Calgary. That's my goal right now. Actually, we're just gonna be hooking up here in a few minutes, and hopefully, I get my hands back. I haven't drilled since, well, I guess. Wainwright, I guess, is the last time I drove, probably, so I'm probably a little bit rusty. Hopefully, uh, get the kinks out and do good St. Walbert here. <laughs>